welcome to Body Sculpt. I'm Elizabeth, your trainer today, and we're working the posterior chain muscles. That's the back muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings. Those are the muscles that make us stand up nice and tall, and when you have great, confident posture, you look more fit, you look better in your clothes. So we're gonna start with that warm up. Today you're gonna need some light weights. I'm lifting five pounds for these back muscles, and you're also gonna need a mat. So when you're ready, grab your stuff, grab your water, put a big smile on your face, and let's start to take that right ear to the shoulder. Right and center. Nice and easy with that head, we don't wanna whip it. Take it easy. Looks good, now shake your head no to the right for me. Pull those ab muscles in, soften those knees. You guys getting ready, you have a good smile on your face. Last set. Let's step to the right, roll those shoulders for me. Warming up from the top down and roll them forward. Get a little deeper in that knee bend. Open up the chest and pull. Add those abs in. Hold that belly button to the spine. Step to the right, left heels to the glute. Hold it here and add the arms. Nice big arms. Now step to the right, left knee's coming up. Beautiful, your abs are in. Drive that knee up. Think of pulling the thigh up to the body. Add the arms, nice and big. and add that sweep. Left leg sweeps around, warming up that hip. Hands are up like you wanna punch somebody. Other side. Nice job, guys, hold it here. Two more. Now take your toes to the front, take your knees apart. Left hand touches the right toes. Back is flat. Nice job, guys. Push your hips behind you. Make sure your tailbone is lifting. Now bring your right toes up to the left hand. Keep your hips square to the TV. Don't let them twist. Do two more. And then that right knee, push your hips back for a nice side lawnmower stretch. Oh, the left leg is straight, the right knee is bent. My right knee is behind my toes and I'm pushing my hips back. Chest is lifted, other side. Nice job, guys. Oh, that should feel really good. Loosening up those tight muscles. Now bend both knees, shift to center, turn your toes out slightly. Take your hands down to the ground if you can. Sit your hips down. If you can't get them to the ground, just keep them on your thighs right here. And we straighten the legs and bend the legs. You straighten and you bend. So you lift your butt up and you drop it down. Yeah. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Let's relax that chin to chest. No strain in the neck. And roll through your right toes. Keep your butt low. Roll through your right, left toes. Right toes, left toes. Right and left. Total body warm up. Even if we're concentrating on the back muscles, that's okay. We still want the whole body warmed up because it's all gonna work together. Staying low. Let's do two more and walk it in and we're ready to work. All right, guys, first things first, we're gonna start on the mat, and we're gonna continue to work up, work through those posterior chain muscles. Those are the muscles in the back of the body. So we're gonna start in tabletop position. Your hands are right underneath your shoulders, and your knees are underneath your hips. You're gonna take your knees apart about a hip, about a fist's distance, a little bit wider than that. Pick your belly up off the mat so that your lower back is supported. 
and you're gonna turn your right toes under and lift your leg. You wanna make sure that you don't lift your leg too high. You wanna just make sure that heel is right in line with the hip. And make sure those hips are square to the mat, so don't open up. Square the hip to the mat, and your left hand reaches out. Hold it here. It's a beautiful thing. Hold it here. Shoulders and hips are square to the mat. Belly is pulled in. Heel in the air is level with the hip. And with your inhale, bring your elbow to the knee. Contract your abs around your back and extend. We'll do that again. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Round your back and pull and extend. Round your back and pull and extend. We'll do one more. In and out. You hold it here. And I want you to think of lengthening your arm, lengthening your leg, like someone's trying to pull you in two like a tug of war. And let's go ahead and switch. Your left hand comes down. Your right knee comes down. Turn your left toes under. Lift that leg. And stretch out the opposite arm. Beautiful job. Hold it here. Now check your posture. Make sure your shoulders are square to the mat. Your hips are square to the mat. That left heel that's in the air should be level with your hips. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice flat back. I don't have a mirror, is my back flat? You guys at home, is it flat? Good, now let's inhale, elbow to the knee, round your back, and exhale, extend. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do three more. Round, and extend. Contract, and last time. Oh, beautiful. Go ahead and drop your hand, drop your knees, press your hips straight on back, forehead to the mat. <sighs> Hold it here in child's pose, guys. Hips pressing back to the heels. <coughs> Gorgeous. Go ahead and come on down to your belly. Belly to the mat. Oh, and we'll go ahead and just take a nap. Just kidding, no naps. No naps yet, we got work to do. So I'm gonna take my hands out overhead like I'm in Superman position. And I'm gonna take my nose down to the mat. <coughs> Pulling in my abs nice and tight. I'm gonna lift my left leg and lower my left leg. And lift my right leg and lower. And lift and lower and lift and lower. And if it's comfortable, I'm gonna to start to add the opposite, <coughs> opposite hand. Left legs up, right hands up and lower. Right hand, or left, <laughs> right foot, left hand and lower. And lift and lower. Now, if this is uncomfortable, just don't do the hands, just do the feet, that's fine. Lift and lower. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. And lift and lower. We'll do two more sets, up and down. And up and down. Beautiful, and let's hold the right hand and left foot, lift it. Right hand, left foot lifts. Pull your abs in, and you hold it, and you hold it. Look out beyond your mat. Oh, nice deep breath, beautiful. And let's switch, other hand, other foot, lift, and hold it, and hold it. Oh, are you holding it? Does it feel good? Does it feel really good? Good, so lift both hands, both feet, little challenge. Oh, look, Ma, no hands. I'm flying, I'm flying. Swim your hands next to your hips. Hold it here, hold it here. If that's uncomfortable in your lower back, just drop your feet, that's fine. If you feel like you can do a challenge, take your hands behind your back, interlock all 10 fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades together. See if you can lift a little higher. Whoo, 
Woo! How's that feel, guys? A little higher and lower on down. Now it's nap time. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. Come on up, guys. I think our back is warmed up. I think we're ready to work a little harder. Let's go grab those weights. Now, because we're working the muscles of the back, you can go a little bit lighter than I would usually encourage you to go. For example, your bicep, really strong, big muscle. The muscles in your back tend to be not as strong. They tend to be smaller. So this is the only time I'm gonna say you can lift pink weights. No other time can you lift pink weights, all right? Mine are actually blue. I'm lifting five pounds today. So we're gonna start with a row. So we're gonna take our heels right underneath our hips. Hold on. Oof, don't you hate that when you feel like a hair on your back? Ooh, that's creepy, I don't like that. Roll your shoulders back and you're gonna tip from your hips, sticking your butt back behind your heels. You're gonna start with the weights right above your knee, making sure those shoulders are sliding down towards your hips and your back is flat. So you don't wanna round it, that's really hard on those back muscles. Make sure it's flat, chin is off the chest. And we row. <sighs> Exhale as you row. You want to shoot those elbows straight back behind you, squeezing the elbows to the ribs and pulling the shoulder blades together. We're hitting the muscles of the middle back here. And that should be eight. That means we have four more. We're going to 12 on all of these reps. Perfect, nice, go ahead and stand on up. So you'll notice since we're working in that slightly bent over position, you're also still working your glutes as well. So that's how we're hitting all of those posterior chain muscles. Great job guys. All right, we've got another one. So back to that bent over position. This time instead of bent over rows, we've got bent over flies. So once again, slide those shoulders down towards your hips, soften your elbow, kind of like you're gonna hug a tree so your elbows are rounded. And you're gonna lead with the backs of your hands, deep breath, and exhale, we fly. Now we wanna stop, we don't wanna go beyond our shoulders because that can hurt the rotator cuff muscle. So exhale, fly, and return back to the knees. Fly, and return. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. I don't know if you can see my shoulder blades, I'm gonna turn to the side. Watch them, watch them move. Move those shoulder blades, squeeze them together. Squeeze them together, like somebody's gonna give you $100 and you gotta hold it between those shoulder blades. Nice job, guys. These little muscles, we don't see them, so we don't work them a lot of the time. But hey, you know, the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn at rest. That means the more food you can eat, right? That's good stuff. Last one. Go ahead and come on up, guys. Shake it out. Ah, nice stuff. All right, guys, we're going to add a dead lift. So we're going to slide our hands down to our knees. Palms are facing the thighs. Now, usually if I do a deadlift, I would go all the way down to my shoe, to my shoelaces. But this time we're gonna add a rear delt raise. Leading with the pinkies, we're gonna raise those weights, okay? So the rear delts, this little tiny muscle, we're gonna work it right back here. At the same time, we're working our glutes and hamstrings. So your abs are in, tip from your hips, slide the hands right down to the knees. Exhale, rear delt raise and come on back up, nice. Dead lift, rear delt raise, come on back up, that's two, nice job. Exhale, now make sure that neck is nice and long. Think of no wrinkles in the back, no wrinkles in the front. Does that make sense? So if you have wrinkles in the back, that means you're lifting your chin and that can strain your neck, you don't wanna do that. And if you have wrinkles in the front, that means you're dropping your chin and you don't wanna do that either. Nice neutral neck alignment. Nice. Keep going, guys. That's seven. Here's eight. Oh, I'm really feeling that in my glutes today. Last two. Great job, guys. Keep those abs in for me. Keep breathing. Exhale on that exertion. And you're done. Roll those shoulders. Set your weights down actually really quickly. Just shake your hands. Give yourself a little twist through the back. We've done a lot of back exercises. In fact, let's take our hands together, palms together, rounding your back. Take your thumbs on the bottom. So I just cross my wrists so my thumbs are on the bottom. Rounding the back, chin to chest. That's just a little stretch for the back. All right, guys. 
back to those rows. So bend your knees, pick, pick your weights back up, roll your shoulders. So you're gonna slide back into that deadlift position and you're gonna just row, it's a wide grip row. So you're gonna take your elbows out to the side, pulling your shoulder blades together. And you wanna make sure that your hands are wide, kinda of like a scarecrow, all right? We got 12 of them, let's go. Shoulder blades pull. You guys look great, I can tell. Abs are in. We got five more. Last two, and last one. Oh, oh man. I felt that in my middle back and my upper back. Roll those shoulders. This time we're gonna flip our grip. This is a reverse grip row. So back to that deadlift position. You're gonna stay down. You're gonna slide those hands up the thighs. The palms are facing to the sky. Just changes the target of the exercise. Your elbows are gonna stay in close to your body. So instead of being a wide grip row, it's a narrow grip. And you're really gonna make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. And you're gonna really feel the, the training stimulus change. So slide them up and release. Exhale, slide and release. Slide and release, abs are in. Nice job, guys. Three more and we're all done. Two and one, beautiful. Go ahead and come on up safely. Ah. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna hit the deck. We've got a lat pull down. So go ahead and join me if you would. And you're gonna double your weights up. And bring them up overhead. And we're gonna start with our knees bent. And you're gonna make sure that your lower back stays implanted on the floor. So pull your elbows in close together. Don't let them go out wide. Pull them in close together and take those weights up overhead. And the straighter your arms are, the more you're gonna feel this in your lats. Those are those muscles right next to your spine, kind of towards the bottom or the lower, the lower back. You're gonna take the weights overhead and exhale, pull them down to your belly button. Weights overhead and exhale, pull them down. Now, if that's not challenging enough, you can make it more challenging by taking your knees in the air and pulling the weights down, making sure that lower back stays imprinted to the mat. Keep working. Remember, the straighter your arms are, the more challenging this is. guys doing there last one right here beautiful go ahead and take those feet down to the mat and we're gonna go ahead and take those weights off to the side you won't be needing those anymore I'm gonna take them to the other side so they're out of my way so let's go ahead and take our hands down next to our hips we have a hip bridge so walk your heels so they're nice and close to your glutes you're gonna press to the heels, lifting your bum to the sky, pulling your abs in. Your neck is long, we don't wanna scrunch the neck. And make sure your shoulder blades are relaxed to the mat and lower. So you press up through your heels, lifting your bum and lower. Now you wanna get the bum really high to the sky. Get it up as high as you possibly can. The higher you get it, the more you're gonna feel this in your glutes in your lower back. Let's go, we got nine more. Lift and lower and lift and lower, perfect. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Let's do four more, up and down. Now as I'm releasing, I'm not actually resting my butt on the mat, I'm letting my bum hover. So don't touch down and rest, there's no resting. We'll rest when we're done with the workout, not during the workout. Nice job guys. Now you can rest. Now you're gonna take your right foot up 
This is my very favorite way to work the glutes. You guys are gonna like this. So my left leg is bent, my right leg is up to the sky, and I'm still gonna push through that heel on the ground. Lift and lower, and lift and lower. The higher you get the bum, the more this is working that glute. You should start to feel a little burn right about now. We got eight more, let's go. Eight, moving nice and slow and controlled. Don't rush this, don't rush. You don't want this over too soon. Enjoy the process, enjoy the burn. Whew. Four more, abs are in, breathing, oh! And last one right here, great job guys. Wow, let's switch. So the leg that was up in the air, take it down, take the other leg up. Beautiful, lift and lower for 12, 11, You guys still with me? How's this feeling? Whoo, little burn going on right here. Taking off my microphone. Last three, we got this. Come on guys, three, two, and one. Oh, beautiful job. Pull both knees into your chest. Take a deep breath and relax your shoulder blades onto the mat. Drop your knees to one side, hands go to the opposite side. Little spinal twist. That should feel like a million bucks. Pull it back to center. Knees go one direction. Aw, oh, hands go the other. I'm gonna pull my shirt down. Yeah, does that feel good? Should feel really good. Nice. Go ahead and take your knees back into your chest. Lift your chin just a little bit, your head, neck, and shoulders. Pull your abs in. Take your hands behind your knees and inhale, roll yourself up. Ah, nice job, guys. We're gonna go ahead and stretch out that lower back. So take your feet together in cobbler, only if it's comfortable. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, then modify so that it does. But we're gonna round our back forward, tucking chin to chest, and just let your head relax. And you should feel a stretch all the way from your neck down to the base of your spine. Yeah. Beautiful job, guys. And inhale, go ahead and roll it on up. Comfortably cross your legs so you're sitting nice and comfortably. Sit up nice and tall and take a nice deep breath in. Inhale. And let's exhale, pull through to heart center. Great job today, guys. Hey, if that didn't feel like you did enough work in your lower, in your back because you were lifting so light, you can do a whole nother set of those. And we're gonna post the link so you can do this workout. And if you, um, if you need to a more of a challenge, you can do it again with either heavier weights or more reps. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next week.